What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be doing another haul. If you are a subscriber, you're probably tired of this by now. I'm so sorry. If you are not a subscriber, you might not know, but I've been doing a monthly haul every month for the past couple months. It's been a little series that I accidentally created. It's kind of a problem because I can't stop shopping, but we're just gonna like, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. We'll just get right into the haul. So this is going to be my July haul, all the fun things that I bought in July. Um, let's just do it. Okay, first up on my list is a Instagram store um, slash website that I've been so obsessed with. If you have been watching the hauls, you already know about it, but it's called Shop Love Street. Anyway, I always buy cropped tank tops from Shop Love Street because I think they have the best one. So I got three. I, I hate to say it, but I got three. So I'm going to show you each. I got a pink v-neck one that has a lower cut back super cute and soft and then i got a similar one that's a v-neck as well but it's a light blue and the back is like a high neck back um these are so cute so flattering you can wear them with biker shorts and tennis shoes you can wear them with jeans and sneakers or even heels like you can wear these anyway and then the third one i got is one of my probably my favorite right now and it is this emerald green color and it's a one shoulder top and it is so perfect. I love these because they're so comfortable and they're really affordable for the quality. These two were 15 each and this one was $20. So highly, 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 highly recommend Shop Love Street. You guys have to check these out. Okay, the next thing that I bought at the beginning of the month was masks. I figured if we're gonna be wearing masks for a long time, which in Ohio at least, it is mandated in the state that you have to wear a mask everywhere in public, so I figured I should pick up some good ones. I was just using like a bandana kind of thing. So went to Old Navy, got five, a pack of five, what was it like? A pack of five masks for $12, which is awesome. So I got a pack that has cream. I have a gray one, but it's in my car, so I'm not showing you, I'm sorry. And then there's this leopard and cheetah print combo here. So there's three different leopard and cheetah print ones. They're so cute. I'll show you guys what they look like on, but I highly recommend Old Navy masks. They're the best. You just put it on like this and then there you go. I love these because they're so much more comfortable on your ears. Like these uh, elastics are really soft and I think they're gonna be nice. And once school starts in a few weeks, we actually have to wear masks in class. So I thought these would be worth the money and so far they have totally been worth it. Also, you can wash them. Uh, this one has not been washed yet, and this one has. You can see that it gets like a little wrinkly. Um, but I would not recommend drying them if you do buy them because they shrink. So just wash them and air dry them, and they're perfect. Next, if you also watched my other hauls, you saw me raving about the Essie Gel Couture Nail Polish. I will not rave in this video, but I bought two new colors, so I'm going to show you both throughout the video. I'm wearing it right now. This is a white one. This is not the new color, but I got that one first, and it's just the best. Anyway... From Amazon, I got a new color and it is this teal color. Angelo actually picked this out for me and I love it, it's just a light blue. And then, so that was from Amazon and that one was $10. And then I have an order from Ulta and the first thing in that order is this one, which is a light pink nude kind of color. I think it's gonna look more pinky like this pillow. It's like the same color almost, but anyway. I got that. But also from Ulta, I had to replenish all of my skincare products at once, which is so inconvenient. I don't know if you guys ever run out of multiple products at once. So annoying because then you have to spend a fortune to replenish them. But anyway, let's just get into it. The nail polish was, I think, $10. And then we have three skincare products. Unfortunately, I did not write down the prices for each individual product, but my total for this order was about $39 for these four items, so yeah. Anyway, I had to get a new cleanser first, so I went with this Best Face Forward. It's called, I think the brand is this Formula 10.0.6, if you guys can see that. I've never heard of this before, but I ended up getting the cleanser and the moisturizer, to be honest with you guys. I got it because it was one of the cheapest options that was in the biggest size. So, the cleanser is passion fruit and green tea, and the daily moisturizer is guava and vitamin C. I've been using these for like a few days now, and I love them. 
This one smells amazing. This one does not smell so great. Like it's not the worst thing I've ever smelled, but I don't love putting it on. Luckily the smell goes away once it kind of like sinks in. So then I needed a new nighttime moisturizer slash um, night cream that you sleep with. So I got this one, it's called Botanics. I don't know if that's the brand. Nature, Nature Inspired Botanics, The Power of Plants. And this is an all bright with hibiscus night cream. So I love this one. The smell's also not my favorite, but if you like rose smell, then you'll love it. That's exactly what it smells like. And yeah, that's what I got. Moving on, we have Ikea. I got a lot of really practical stuff from Ikea, actually two of them. I just realized you could see them, okay. I got these pillowcases on these pillows that I have for our couch. And these are just the white, I forget what the name of the case is, but I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. I think it's called like Girly or something. But anyway, two white pillowcases. These were really cheap, like $3.99 each. And then I got us a new set of dishes. We have the pink dishes in our kitchen, but we didn't have a full set, so I got some more. I'll insert a photo here. I also got some new pink hand towels and a new pink bath mat. Also, we'll put pictures here because I did not want to remove all of these things from their homes. But for the dishware set, the bath mat, the hand towels, and the pillowcases, I spent about $56, so kind of a lot, but all of it was practical stuff, so that's always good to have. Next, we have one of my favorite purchases. I purchased Taylor Swift's new album, Folklore. I have not received my hard copy yet. It won't be coming for like a couple weeks, I'm pretty sure, because it just came out two days ago, and I bought it the day it came out. So I bought the In The Trees version, which I will show you guys a photo here. She had a bunch of deluxe versions with different photos, and this is the one that I chose. So I'm really excited to get that. The CD was $13, so love it. I love Taylor Swift. I have all the CDs, so I'm excited to get it. From Sam's Club, I got this shirt from the men's section, actually. And it has the little outline of Ohio here, and then it says Ohio on the sleeve. If you can see that and then the back has a bigger outline of Ohio I guess the front's not an outline you get you get the point anyway got it in this light blue color it's a men's medium and I picked this up because first of all it was six dollars so you can't beat that and then I read the tag and it's like a sun protection shirt so it has like s it's not called SPF but it's called something else up to like 50 I, I guess that's good I don't know it wasn't an SPF so I, I don't really understand it but I like it I actually dipped it in the pool last week and then put it on over my swimsuit and it was so cooling because it kind of absorbs the water and just keeps you cool so I love this okay one of my favorite stores as you guys know is discount fashion warehouse I only have one item from there this month thank god because it's just a problem, you know? What I got from Discount Fashion Warehouse is this scrunchie with a hair scarf attached, you guys can tell. So you can just tie it on and have the hair scarf hang down. But my actual purpose for this was that I untied it and I used this part as a hair scarf that you kind of tie over your hair, like, like this. I'll insert a picture because I'm not doing it justice right now, but it turned out to be really cute. I wore it with my swimsuit when we went to the pool a couple weeks ago. So I'll insert the photo and I hope you guys think it's cute because I do. So yeah, that was $3. I believe it was $2.99. All right, we're almost finished, you guys. This month is hopefully a shorter haul than my previous months because you guys know how crazy it was getting. Um, next, I have this pot holder. It's from a local store in my town. I cannot remember the name of right now and I feel horrible, but I'll put it here on the screen. Don't worry. Um, not sure if she has a website, but I will try to find that for you guys and link it below if she does. Anyway, got this really nice pot holder. It was $7.99, but my mom bought it for me because she's so sweet. And I like to use this to set the air fryer basket on when we take the air fryer out of the like when we take the basket out of the air fryer. But anyways, if you guys can tell, it's the thickest pot holder ever. It's like a double weaved knit, like super thick cord. Sorry, I'm not good at describing this, but I love this. Next, my other favorite store, um, Uptown Cheapskate, you guys know. First thing I found there was this Altered State shirt and it is just a purple and white light tie-dye long sleeve. And I got this for $6, super cute. I love that and then I also got this one and I got this for one dollar you guys it's so hard to show you but there'll be a try on it's a long sleeve with a cold shoulder and it just has this pretty lace detail all over in this lavender color and this one actually still has the original tags on it from Charlotte Russe it was originally $23 and I got it for one dollar 
So I love it. I haven't worn it yet because I haven't gone anywhere, but hopefully I'll be able to wear it soon to school and other things like that. And finally, we're already on to the last item. This has been the best, shortest haul ever, but I got this awesome faith journal from Marshalls. It was in the clear section for $6 and it's huge, if you guys can tell. It's a really thick hardcover book. It's by the brand Thimble Press. It says, be good, do good. And then there was a little bio in the front of the woman that designed it. Her name is Kristen. And then what I love is that on every single page, there's a different hand-drawn quote or Bible verse. And I just think it's so awesome. I like doing church notes in a notebook. So I thought this would be really good for when my current notebook fills up. So I love that. And, oh, I forgot one item, you guys. I always forget one item because I'm always wearing it. This is the last item in my haul. It's a Lake Girl shirt. I got it at Hallmark. Also $9, but also my mom got it for me because she's so sweet. And I wasn't going to buy it because I didn't want to spend $9. It's like kind of a high price, but also it's not at all. But she bought it for me and I love it so much. I've been wearing it all day. Here's the back. Hopefully you guys can see it. I love it. I've been wearing it way too much. Anyway, that's actually everything we have for the July haul. I'm so proud of myself for not spending as much money as I have in the past two months. If you guys have been following these hauls, you hate me. You probably hate me. But if you're enjoying them, please give this video a like and comment down below what your favorite purchase in the past few months has been. Um, quarantine has not been doing it for me. I've been shopping way more than normal, which is horrible. But, you know, I just can't be tamed. It's so much fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will hopefully be back soon with some back to school videos that I am so excited to make. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.